Greetings everyone, and great here for another Cup Heroes 1 replay. Small and south side A is a British forces of sky is the limit. It's going for some friend carriers. On north side A is a Wehrmacht, poor, a Wehrmacht player. We have Bravo, my life. Let's see now. Do we got more pioneers being pulled down the field? And it's going straight for a whole mess of pioneers, just as I thought. A lot of people tend to go for a massive load of pioneers versus British forces. They tend to have a bit, have a bit of trouble. With cabin pressure, in this case, is only be the scope rifle squad. The HQ command truck is packing up now. Brent Carrier has been deployed down the field. Maybe I'm deployed in this munition sector. Maybe around here. <clears throat> I think right around here would be good. Push her too far forward. He may retreat back on the other side of the hedge, which can be both good and very bad. So you always could push it right over here. Likely a retreat point will still go around the hedge, but you can still reinforce along over the hedge. Bren Carrier eyeing the advance, trying to harass the left flank. So he's not eyeing the capture the left flank, he's just at least trying to deny it from his opponent. And all he needs to do is deny this pioneer from capturing up. This cutoff point has not been captured, so he will deny a lot of resources as long as that point is not captured on up. We've got the Wehrmacht quarter going on up. We also do have, looks like, four pioneers in the field. I thought there was going to be five, but it was just the four. Pioneers will not be able to stand against the infrastructure. The infrastructure could try advancing forward to capture up the fuel point. Of course, the light cover is being very useful for the pioneer. This pioneer have captured up the fuel point, and now I'm for the two safe points back here. And the Pioneer Squad does fall back now. HQ Command Truck has pulled out right there. A bit more center, not over the right. Target. Which will allow a better retreat point and ability to start pushing over along the left side. Red Curry have received some damage. This Pioneer Squad, I believe, is a different squad because you can see actuality. He killed both of those models there. Okay. That was a quick drop on the Pioneer. Fuel point not being captured on up. We do have now a fresh intersection here. They're going to walk to that cutoff point. And we've got the Shimon Wagen here. Run carrier just on the fall back. We'll be pursued by the Shimon Wagen. Getting a bit of damage there. And receiving some damage. Yep, looks like overall it seems like the Shimon Wagen's doing a little bit more damage, but the damage to both sides is relatively negligible. But will add up over time, of course. There we go, that seemed like a good burst there on that Shimon Wagen. The damage is still very comparable between the two. Of course, the Shimon Wagen can fall back, get some repairs, while the Bren Carrier can't get repairs at the moment. Of course, he can always use the repairability, of course. But not necessarily any free repairs. I need to repair up the German Vagen now. Do have the intersection now mounted on up. I wonder if he's going for a weapon upgrade onto it. Don't see any weapon upgrades. I hear what sounds like an MG42. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. That's also very likely. Those uh, uh, unmount and remount do now have MG42 now pulled out on the field. I'm being a bit defensive right there. British forces will capture this munitions point. Likely he's going to put a field support truck in this region. That's just my guess, however. He could put in a fuel point as well. Either of those are going to be good points. And whichever one he doesn't deploy on, he can always throw the armor command truck on. You know that the Bren upgrade, so the Bren carrier is carrying Brens. It is, of course, its description. It's, its job description. And now it does have the lieutenant in the back as well. The Warp Squad may get a bit of damage there onto the Flamer Pioneer. Bren Carrier are now advancing forward. We'll be able to get some great damage there onto the Pioneers. Both Pioneer Squads still fall back. There's a good chance this one may actually get wiped out. Lieutenant's currently firing against this Pioneer, but this Pioneer Zero does get gunned down the from the Bren attack. Gun. Whether it be the Bren Gun for the Bren Carrier or the Bren Gun for the Intersection, I could not tell you. Do you now have a sniper point field? Camouflage is straight forward. Ironing up a shot. One model down. Now the Brandon Carrier is advancing on forward. He's trying to overrun the sniper. 
Scobar Squad is even to fire there. MP42 is here for defense. Sniper has not been spotted. Pretty close. Oh, there's a Vermont landmine right here. Oh no. He could actually detonate that landmine, blow up the shim bog and while at it. And does hit the landmine there with the lieutenant carrier. Scobar Squad, maybe I'm for a point and then marks him there. And does get those snipe there onto the Sniper that does kill off the Flamer Pioneer as well. Trying to use repair ability. That went very messy, but overall I think it was very favorable to the British forces. Losing a Sniper and a Flamer Pioneer. This Brent Carrier is backing on off. This one just may want to drive away. Brent Squad just may want to full withdraw now. He may be trying to remount, but it took a bit of damage there. He pushes field support truck now pull out on the field. He does fall back to Brent Squad now. Down to one model. Does drop Brent there. Volksgrindeers could pick that up. He does pick that up. They haven't lost their dropping a Brennan like that. This Bren carry has plenty of health at the moment. Infantry, field, support truck has of course been pulled on the field. I'm not sure where he's going to set it up. I don't see any flags of some sort. Well, if I click on here, that's where the reinforcement point is. So that's where the actual field support truck might be going. Wolf's Grandiers, seem to the fire there. Grand Squad, not reinforced. It needs to fall back a little bit to get reinforced. He does mount up the Brent Squad with only two models. That's... He is aggressive. He's immediately trying to overrun this MG42. He does overrun the MG42. does use the repair ability on this Brent Carrier, and it's currently drawing some more fire. Volt's Reindeers are still hitting the Brent Carrier for some reason. He needs to hit something else. That repair ability will, of course, get him nice and repaired. Volt's Reindeers dropped quite a bit of models there. Brent Squad needs to fall back. It does not use the point as any marksman there on that uh, Brent Volt's Reindeers. Brent Carrier is no longer repairing himself. Now got the Brent Carrier's advancing forward. Does pull out another sniper. Maybe the sniper's a little bit bad idea versus two Brent Carriers. Scope Rifle Squad advancing four. They made this mount to get Poi as a new marksman. Oh, did I hear Pounds of Faust? Yeah, Volksman is trying to pull Pounds of Faust there. There's Poi as a new marksman there. Wipes out the sniper there. Does fall back. The Brent Carrier is relatively disposable at this point in time. Freaks Barracks not, or Comfort Center not fully deployed just yet. At the current rate, he may want to go for defensive doctor with the actual Pinto mounts. He will be very lucky that Brent Carrier escapes on out there. No engine crit there, and it. We've seen Benefy there from the Shimon Wagon. Rolls a lot of misses. Stewart on the way. He has a captain deployed on the field. No sapper or repairs. Let's use the repair ability here, and somehow the Brent Carrier stays alive. Maybe got idea to go for the sapper. Does the sapper there, packing up the. Use support truck, and maybe a good idea to go for a pair of sapper because overhealing the Bren carriers and the steward could be very nice. And you know, he's did a, quite a bit of damage to his opponent, taking out two snipers, some pioneers. Get some good damage. But so doesn't really need a Piet squad at this moment. And additionally, the steward on the field, the only squad he may need to use a Piet against is probably a 251 half track. So he doesn't need PS to engage that. The steward will be more than plenty for that. Steward's now fancying it forward. We got Fetch C1 on support weapons. He is definitely eyeing for another sniper. He's reinforcing these squads. Let's take a look what we see over here. He does definitely need to get Pack 38. Because there's a lot of targets for a Pack 38. Two Bren carriers, one Stuart. A Grenadier with a Pentrek wouldn't be half bad, but I think a uh, Pack 30 will generally be a bit better. So it's nice at 4. He may eye for a cancer round, though his munitions a little bit low last time I checked. Jimmy Boggan does get butted there. He really wants it dead. He's trying to repair it up in combat. When Stuart Round connects, it will die. 
if it connects, I should say. Friend, carry, friend squad does get suppressed. If it connects, that shim volume should not have lived as long as it has right now. It does have damage and crit there, so it won't be able to skip all out here all too well. After they being pulled on the field. So now the stream of volume is still not dead. I think the Panzer Files killed it. The AoE damage from the Panzer Files. Friend Carrier is almost dead. He may want to use the repair ability. Yeah, he is going to use the repair ability again. This Friend Carrier is advancing forward. Does have Sappers loaded on the back. Still has plenty of health there. Pack 30. Is trying to hit this Bren carrier. That bunker fire. does go down. Also got crushed by the uh, Stewart. Wait. How did that die? Am I going crazy? But how did that uh, Kriegsberg die? Miss something? Act 3 does get the crew. And it looks like his opponent does back out of the game now. Oh, that will be the end of the replay. And that is the end of the replay. This is Angrid saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.